What's going on guys, today we've got some more Black Ops 4 gameplay in the background using the MX-9 submachine gun and this is honestly one of my favourite submachine guns in this game, it's really powerful, it does a lot of damage and it's really really nice to use in all honesty. So I hope you guys enjoy that gameplay in the background, there's going to be tons more gameplay and tons more videos coming from me over the next couple of days and weeks while the beta is out and everything like that. So stay tuned for more videos, but honestly, today I wanted to talk about something that is a drastic change from any other Call of Duty game that we've ever played in the past, and that is the auto-regeneration health that is no longer a thing within Call of Duty Black Ops 4. Now, honestly, on your class, you will know that you can have a stim shot in your equipment, which obviously speeds up the your health and it lets you heal more often and quicker while maintaining the control of your weapon. However, if you do not have the stim shot, you still are able to have a heal. And I can't remember what the heal is actually called in this game, I'll put it up on the screen. But basically I'm going to call it the stim for this video. And what you can do, obviously, is once you get into a gunfight, you can pop behind cover heal up like I just did right here and then go ahead and challenge the gunfight again or challenge the person that you're going to be fighting again and I really like that and I thought it was going to slow the game down but honestly it speeds it up I think it speeds the game up quite a lot yeah you do have to be a little bit more tactical about how you're going about the gunfights you're getting yourself into and all that good stuff but I honestly think it's a much better system and it can help you stay alive for a lot longer in certain instances. There is a lot of stuff in Call of Duty Black Ops 4 that is going to get you killed pretty randomly and pretty quickly. Quickly, Like the air seeker that Prophet seems to have that completely electrocutes you that happened to me in my previous video a couple of times. Now, I don't really like the randomness of that. I don't really like the specialist because of the randomness it does create. But that is just something we're going to have to deal with when it comes to Call of Duty Black Ops 4. Now, honestly, I really, really enjoy the stim shot and the stim. I think that it is a great addition to Call of Duty. The, the manual healing, to me, is far superior. In my, this is my humble opinion, but I feel like the, the healing... The manual health regen is way more important in this game because you've got to remember to do it but it's also way more efficient and I feel like it helps so much more you guys can see it healing me in the bottom right left hand corner and you can also see that the health has changed up in this game we now have 150 health but that's only to help balance the way that the gunfights are and the damage of every single weapon in this game. So, the gunfights feel very similar when it comes to any other Call of Duty. They feel awesome. I love the gunfights in this game. If you can be accurate and be deadly, then I don't see why you would have any issues or any problems playing this game and playing out like you would normally when it comes to any other Call of Duty game. And like you guys can see in this gameplay, I pick my gunfight, I pick a gunfight, I make sure to kill the guy, I back off, I try a new angle, I heal myself, and I make sure that I'm remembering to make sure that it becomes memory muscle, or muscle memory, that I need to heal myself. And that is something that I was trying to do in this game, it was just something that I was really trying to make sure that I was doing throughout these gameplays and throughout the beta is... I was constantly telling myself, make sure that you're healing up, it is really important that you heal up, and it's really important that you know, that you do make sure to heal yourself, because if you don't, every single gunfight that you get into, after being in a gunfight, you're going to be at a massive disadvantage, because that enemy player may have healed up, they may have had a chance to get behind cover, heal up again and everything like that, and that is something really important to think about, and it's something that you guys need to think about in the long run, especially in this game, and the stim shot is definitely one of my favourite equipments in this game right now, because it's helping me get, you know, the attack choppers, it's helping me get 
higher kill streaks and do really well in this game. And that is something that I can say, I don't think has been something that I can say about any other sort of equipment or any other sort of thing in this game. Now, a lot of people are complaining about body armor at the moment. I haven't really run into too many people using it. Or if I have, I haven't really noticed it. But I'm guessing a lot of other people have. Back to normal auto health regeneration though. I think there's a big disadvantage. You've got to wait, you know, for that heal to come back. You've got to wait to, for that heal to, you know, be there. And you've got to wait so long for yourself to start healing. And then as soon as you get shot, it stops. With the stim, you can heal yourself pretty much instantly. And yes, you will have to go ahead and you know, stop yourself from healing, or you will get stopped from healing if you do get into a gunfight when you are healing, and yes, it does take time, so you can't just heal yourself over and over and over again, that's where the stim shot comes in, it does reduce that cooldown, but in all honesty, I much prefer being able to get into a gunfight, take a bit of damage, heal myself, and take cover while I'm healing, and then be able to jump right back into the action after I've healed rather than having to wait five seconds or whatever it was to actually start healing in the first place. With this manual healing you can heal pretty much instantly and if you have the stim shot equipped it does take a lot less time and you can basically heal straight away not have to worry about it and it is so much better in my personal opinion. Now, for you guys that haven't played Black Ops 4's beta yet, that are on Xbox, I'm sorry, I wish that the beta was open to everyone. Or if you haven't pre-ordered the game yet, I wish the game was open to, to everyone, I'm sure it will be at some point in the near future. But, when it comes to manual healing, I do much prefer this system over any other Call of Duty system that we've seen in previous years. So I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. If you did, smash that thumbs up button and don't forget to subscribe for more if you are already. And I will talk to you guys in the next one with some more Black Ops 4 content. Peace.